everyone. I know I look a bit scary right now. I've just done my makeup on one half of my face. I've gone for full on glam and on the other side I'm going to be doing a skull look for Halloween. Of course you can have a skull on your full face. All you need to do is repeat what I do on this side onto the other half of your face. And if you don't want to go for full on glam you can do a natural makeup look, a pin up look or any sort of look you really want to. Two main things that you'll need for this half of your face is black and white face paint. I only have white so I'm going to work with a few different products and you can obviously do this too I have black gel eyeliner I've got this Maybelline color tattoo which is basically just gel liner it's a cream eyeshadow and it's black I have a black powder eyeshadow too and I've also got this LA Colors Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil in black. I find that this is quite creamy, so it's quite easy to work with, but I'm not sure exactly what I'll use yet, but I'll get into it, and like I said, you can substitute anything you want, as long as it's black and white, really. <laughs> so let me get straight into it. two coats of this face paint make sure you tie your hair back because I kind of forgot so I've got bits of face paint in my hair but I've done two coats because this is quite sheer I think the cream ones that you get in pots are a lot better but this is all I've got try and keep the line down the center as straight as possible I know I've not done a very good job of showing you but I will neaten it all up at the end so as you can see I've left a circle around my eye that's going to be black. It's not, it's not a neat circle at this point but I'll go over it. Before I do anything I'm just going to tight line and line my waterline with a black pencil just so that if my eyes water um, it won't affect the makeup. My eyes do get a bit watery when I've just tight lined so I'll just let that settle before I work on the eye area. Next I'm going in with the cream black eyeshadow and just going around my eye. I'm not going to make a complete circle because I want it to look a little bit realistic and a bit 3D. I'm just switching to the pencil, I want to see how creamy that is. So this is a rough shape, I think I might just continue with the pencil. So there we go, that's the eye done. The only thing I will say is if you're not using face paint and you're using gel eyeliner or cream um, eyeshadow or a pencil, just let it sit to see what happens because most of the time you probably will need to set it with a black eyeshadow because I feel like this is going to crease quite quickly, it's quite creamy. Next I'm going to draw a teardrop shaped shape <laughs> on my nose. It's probably easier if you watch what I'm doing rather than me trying to explain the next bit but I'm just switching between the cream eyeshadow and the pencil. I'm just creating these lines which is the socket I think that's what it's called which the teeth go into and I'm just filling it in. As you can see the pencil around my eye area was starting to crease on me so I'm just going into my black eyeshadow and just setting it just to dry it out and stop it from creasing. I've drawn some lines off the main line going out of my mouth and these are the teeth. I've kept them roughly the same sort of width but they don't have to be symmetrical. And now I'm going to draw a, few, a couple of squiggly lines on either side just to show where the teeth sort of growing out of, if that makes sense. I'm just going to blend that with my fingers. I'm just going to shade some areas of the face in and I'm just doing this with the pencil and a bit of the black cream colour. I just want to add a bit more dimension, add some shadows and just make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm 
just tidying up the line down the centre of the face. I'm just doing this using a Rimmel Scandalized Nude Eyeliner and this is the finished look. Please like, subscribe and all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!